That's true, 80 flying cars. The, the fluffy boy had help from rocks. And it turns out that rocks are stronger than big snarly monsters in this game. In a, in a game of uh, fox snarly monster rock, the fox pushes rock, rock crushes snarly monster, snarly monster eats fox. That's how this plays out. longer, less time to remember this time.
hey, I actually did the thing I'm supposed to do instead of being mm -hmm. not smart. Mm -hmm. way then? Must be this way. That's not where I wanted to go. I have now forgotten where to go. There it is. Nope, that's definitely not it. Holy cow. I'm the worst at this video game. Is it this? I don't think it's this. It is this. Man, you ever do that thing where you like use your brain? It's wild. It's absolutely wild when you do that sort of thing. You can beat that guy, that's good to know. Swear I hit the button. Swear I hit that button. This is not going to be a green split for my first split. That's not great.
doesn't put me anywhere that I want to be. Yeah, that one's just a huge dick. Okay, good to know. I still save time. I don't know how I save time. How's it going, Morkador? That's a terrible hold. That's so bad. I wasted so much time. Oh, right on. Glad they had fun at uh, Pax mm -hmm. Australia. Mr. Jones Wild Run. That's the second time. You have to be so good. You have to be so good to die in that way twice. I'm the best. Thanks. I, I appreciate that. Vote of confidence. Best at something. Not video games, but you know, something.
god, I've lost so much time in this stupid stage to stupid things. John, you're a fantastic friend, and I appreciate everything that you say. Your own poor hog. I'm dead. Yeah. No, that one was definitely my fault. the puffball. There you are. Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah, when, when you said that I was the foxiest speedrunner around, it was a pun. This way. This way. One shot, let's go. Mm -hmm. right, three trees. I lost the cycle. That sucks. Alright, we can make it all the way to the beast. Somehow still save time. Don't know how. Morkadar, I would like to think that we're friends. I like to think that anybody who's hanging out in chat right now is, is my friend. You've been told puns are never funny. Scrivo taught you that? I don't think that's true. Scrivo loves puns. Rightly so. Did you know that puns are the highest form of humor known to man? It's true. I'll start doing that rockless uh, next round. So we don't actually need the rock.
is afraid of demon squirrel. doing runs of Parasite Eve? No. Though, John Carlos, I'll ask you this question in response. Are you doing runs of Parasite Eve after this? Because I'll tell you right now, if the answer is yes, I will host you immediately after this run. Game keeps on wanting to uh, force me onto the um, onto the log instead of letting me do a full jump there. Also, apparently these are platforms for I don't know how many frames, but I can walk on them. Uh, yes, you should, John Carls. I would love to host you for a comfy, spooky, comfy, spooky, spooky, comfy, Parasite Eve stream. Fine. Managed to narrowly escape death. Please push.
all butterflies? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do that. If it's just different routing, then I'm not interested. If there's something that's meaningfully different about the run, like um, you have to fight extra bosses or it gives you extra stages, something like that, I'd be into it. That's right, my official stance, fuck butterflies. I don't feel, excuse me, I'm gonna go collect a butterfly. Sub-30. All right. Sub-29 definitely required for this to be called a good run. I lost way more than a minute. Probably sub-28 required for this to be a... For, for a run to be good. Yeah, I know. I know. You're not going to do it. Come here. I'm not walking with you. Jump here. Hey now, I didn't start that hashtag. I don't know who started the fuck you John Carl's hashtag. It wasn't me. Please? Fine. As long as you push it. I needed to put uh, my AI companion up further to the right. That would have forced pushing to the left. I need to be up. Turns out, um, some hitboxes don't apply at that point in time. Good to know. Anything here? Nothing here. There's a butterfly. Hitboxes, yeah. That's true. Hitboxes are all fake. Well, this is great. So yeah. that's how you set that up. Cool. Okay.
not playing this game again. Not gonna maybe have my AI bug out, maybe not. Morkadar, that's definitely not true. I am about as average as they come. Mediocre, even. Who oh boy. Uh, that sure is sprite lag that I'm experiencing at this moment. Definitely this way. That's right. I don't know why, but it is extremely easy to get turned around for me here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the, the letterboxing is a super nice touch. Facing to the right, that's real good.
please make the jump. Wrong. That was wrong. Oh no. Where could it be? It's right here. I knew that it was right above the thing, but I completely forgot how to get to it. Hey, and Devin, how's it going? Uh, yeah, this uh, this fox has a lot of anxiety. It it turns out. Um, Hockey, so this is the version that I purchased on Steam, but I'm playing it on a Mega Drive. Yeah, I am extremely impressed with this game. Just. Everything that they've done with it is polished and good. Not really, I want you to change. It feels like a retro game in a good way. So you're not gonna a oh, woo. That saves time. can awoo, and the little fox will awoo every time it gets wet. Which... Come here. There you go. Speaking of getting wet. So to save time, I think here. Yeah, the fox just immediately homes to the ladder. real unhappy about the water. Yeah, the messenger was really good. Strong recommend for anybody who's looking for a, another modern retro feeling game. Get in, get in. Please let him get in. Okay. You can't trigger the end of the level if uh, your companion doesn't get in. It's real great. 
Come on over here. Thank you. Also, if you're separated from your companion for too long, uh, the way that the game prevents soft locks. <sighs> Come on. That's right. I know what I need to do. Jump. There we go. All right. That seems to be the trick to manipulating the AI into pushing stuff for you, is that jump. I just have to remember that. Uh, the softlock prevention is uh, just kill the AI companion and force you to start over. Please, please move. Thank you. And then the reason that I'm tapping push instead of keeping push held is because objects that you're pushing work to your position in terms of their X position. So tapping lets you get running speed every so often. And it's more apparent with like the logs and things like that. I just dodged one aloo. Can I tell you the lore? There's not a lot of lore in this game, which is okay. It's okay not to have a ton of lore. If there is lore, you need to respect it, but sometimes a game is just about an extremely anxious fox and the smaller fox that the anxious fox saved and being chased by some sort of existential dread. The constant fear that something bad might happen to you. That something might go wrong, that you might die. First try. I died a bunch of times there, so that's a time save. If you don't hear that, it's not in place, and that means that you're going to die here. Yo. I feel really bad because I don't know how to <laughs> pronounce your handle at a glance, and I need to also not die. I'm going to guess Ariel, but I'm almost certainly wrong, and I apologize ahead of time. Thank you so, so much for the host. Or not the host. Oh my gosh, the five tier one. You gonna? There we go. 
the five uh, tier one subs. Thank you so much for that. Um, gosh, I am completely taken taken aback. Um, and just a reminder for anybody who's new here, I've seen at least one new name tonight. 100% um, of the money that I get through this stream, be it from subscriptions, like we just got a bunch of gifts for, uh, or cheers, or anything, all the money uh, gets passed along to the Extra Life uh, charity drive that's linked in my stream info. So thank you so, so, so much. That is extremely generous and very, very appreciated. Can I explain how much of the money that I get from Twitch goes to charity in terms of a fraction? Um, yes, give me one moment. Um, I'm not good at math. So if if 100% goes to charity, I think that's that's three slash four, I think, right? No, it's one one. That's right. Thank you. Yeah, that's that sounds correct. One one. That's the scientific notation for it, though. There we go. Get up here. Please come back up. I need you here. Literally cannot do this part without you, AI companion. Thank you. Math killed your father. Well, that might be hyperbolic, but he doesn't teach it in school. Yeah, those are basically the same thing. I agree with you. How's it going, Lisa? If you're pushing it, that Doc will knock it out of your hands. Um, he wants to play fetch with you, which is just great. But if your partner is pushing it, uh, it's it ends up being faster, even though it's slower technically. Oh, hey, it's that thing from the beginning of the game. call this a Sonic clone. This doesn't feel like Sonic at all. It is on the Mega Drive, so, you know, same system. How's it going, Nelson JD? You believe a lot of people don't teach maths because, like water, you just don't know what maths are. That's fair. Yo, Pack, how's it going? Pack, I saw your tweet. Are you going to be at AGDQ? Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell everyone uh, this is also a stab game. Sorted. I'm excited to hear that.
see, John, you were you were talking about not being able to pull any lore out of what you were seeing, and then all of a sudden you realized, oh wait, I am actually emotionally attached. Honestly, for how little this game does to communicate to you, I think it's really impressive how it manages to do that. Okay, well, minor time loss. Yeah, I really like the silhouette level. I think that it, it, uh, it creates a really good um, sword. It sets a tone very, very well after what just happened. From a, an artistic and an emergent narrative standpoint, I think that there's a lot that this uh, art style, this choice does to communicate. Um, and really, that's pretty much the whole game, is this sort of like inferred emergent storytelling, and I really like that. All right, I'm not going for that hard jump again. It worked out last run. Don't care. I want to maybe not die. All right. Orange and pink are your favorite colors. They're good colors. They also happen to be the colors of a tequila sunrise. Yes, that's the end of the level. Yeah, I'm, I'm never gonna not um, mention another world when I do this level because this is super duper the opening to another world. I think there's probably some time to save some time. So, for the record, my intent was specifically to skip this and to jump over the thing. It turns out...
Also, game design thing. Uh, it would be fair to have not noticed it right up until this point. But notice how the uh, the save point, the checkpoints, uh, color changes. I, re I really, really like that as a small game design thing that helps the player gain bearing. I just realized the visual cue for where the spikes are. I never noticed it up until this this moment. Punchy, how's it going? I was too busy looking at chat. Are red and yellow the two that you can't tell apart? Um, John? I thought that it's red and blue. Or something. It's. I know it's not red and green, because I previously thought that's the only type of colorblindness. And you have since taught me otherwise. Oh, please continue pushing. Long way. You only see black and neon orange. Well, that's fair. I mean, if you're only going to see two colors, I feel like those are the good ones. So, really, you're covered, John Carls. You're not missing out on anything good. Okay, I need to jump from the very top. Day is like Halloween for you, so you don't get the big deal. Nice. I just want everybody to know that I did consider meme split names solely so that I could call this split Shy Hello.
Okay, cool. Did not deserve that. Mm. <laughs> That's even worse. So the green fox can stop time. That's that's the power up that the green fox gets. And so White Fox has the, um, oh yeah, sub one hour is definitely possible. 100% is, um, is currently at a one hour and two minutes. So there's just something that I don't know because I haven't like, looked at the run yet. These are all no strikes. didn't think that I refused to answer. Um, I apologize. I must have misunderstood something or just missed the question. Um, two different people have run two different categories. Uh, I forget their names because I don't have... So here's the thing uh, to that question, John Carlos. Um, currently, any percent, technically, according to the leaderboard, is at one hour and 25 minutes. Um, however, 100% is at um, one hour and two minutes. So it is um, probably fair to assert that any percent sub one is super possible. I'm guessing there's just tech in the 100% run that we don't know about yet. Uh, or I don't know about yet in uh, for any percent. 
I'm gonna be real mad if it's like the tech is, oh, in any percent we allow levels right or something. really fun run. Like, it just feels super fun to play. But you know what would make it feel even more fun to play is Legends. most people don't realize about being a math lawyer is that it's a numbers game. Thank you, John.
That's pretty good. That's 30 minutes of improvement tonight. Still all gold splits, which means I've still got tons and tons of time to save. John Carls, you were here for the start of the run, right? Well, okay, but hear me out here, John. A, you went back to the first tree in the game, which is a cool, like, way to wrap everything up. Um, B, and this one matters, you only found the tree after you killed the living nightmare. You know, the one what did the murder. What's wrong with the other trees? Probably the nightmare and the murder, if I had to guess. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm not sure how many of those words apply to me, but thank you. I agree with you. There are two sides to every murder. There's the murderer and the victim, but mostly the murderer. <laughs> What's wrong with your neighbor's houses? Well, they're locked. Well, the other trees were locked too then, John. Loratia, thank you so much for the 100 bits and the fantastic smite emote. Uh, I would disagree with the meaning behind it. I am not very fast now. This was not a great run. But uh, it was fun. And I'm going to I'm going to grind this one down. I want to see sub 1. This game should be a sub 1. It's too fun. That is incredibly, incredibly kind. I'm glad if people enjoy hanging out and watching me play video games. I mean, more than anything, that means the world. And especially since anybody who's hanging out, whether they're subscribed, whether they ever cheer or do anything like that, just by hanging out, you're helping. You know, you're helping me to be able to use this Twitch channel to, to make a difference, and that's super cool. Lord Absurdum, I've got bad news for you. John Carl's never stops being fun. He, uh, he, he has the exact sort of sense of humor that I really enjoy. And uh, his stream is always fun and, and funny. And if you're not already following him, you definitely should. He's, he's a really, really good streamer, talker, comedian. I guess he's okay at video games. I am literally one of the speedrunners on Twitch, and you sincerely mean that. Gosh, thank you. That that means a lot, um, especially coming from you, John Carls. Um, uh, that means that means a ton. That you would call me one of the uh, the the people who have the power to stream to Twitch, who also play video games with a timer. Thank you. It just touches my heart. 